Hey, Colin here from Sturdy Made. Uh, just bringing you a quick little video to show you what I'm working on this morning while we got summer camps going on. So for our bar setups here at Park Revisions, we use these uh, these cheeseboro clamps. Basically, the bar goes through, close it over the bar, flip the, the bolt up, tighten it down. Uh, and these work great. They allow us to keep our bar setup really modular and move it around all the time. The one problem is, after you close this down, you have this nasty bolt sticking out of the end. And even if you cut the bolt off, which we do on some things, you still have this, uh, you still have this fastener sticking out. Uh, so if you're going through bars pretty tight, going quickly, you can uh, you can hit that, and it doesn't feel comfortable. And it uh, it sort of adds to the feeling of the cage being a dangerous place. So what we've ended up doing to protect the bolts is, uh, is using tennis bolts. Uh, this isn't our original design, but we've, we've really adopted it and we, we use them a lot. Basically what we do, we cut a circle out of the tennis ball, um, and then we get these Velcro straps, uh, and then cut two little slits, thread the strap through, and then wrap it around the bolt and, uh, and strap it in over the bar. The problem with this is that uh, these tend to kind of fall off, especially if you don't put them on perfectly. Um, you can see that's, that's happening here. The strap gets pulled over to one side and then it just falls off. You gotta re-strap it in. And even when it does work, you end up with this sort of rat's nest of, uh, of straps around the bar. It doesn't look very pretty and uh, it sort of takes a long time to, to put on and take off if you need to move a bar. So what I'm playing around with this morning is, uh, is trying to get rid of the strap and just have the ball stay on the bolt by itself. And the way I'm doing it, instead of cutting sort of a circle out of the tennis ball, which makes it fit loosely over, um, I'm, I'm cutting more of a, of a rectangular slit like this and I'll show you how I, how I put it onto the bar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, the ball and I'm going to have it turned like this so that I'm fitting it first over the bolt and then pulling it up over this, over the, uh, the little flangey things that hold the ball in place. Here it's, it's sort of on there but it's, you can pull it off pretty easily. And then I'm just gonna take it and, uh, and twist it so that the ball splays out a little bit. It's now, the rectangle is, is stretched out. And this is actually on there pretty firmly now. I can hit it from all the different directions. I can even tug on it. And, uh, and it's not gonna come off from just casual contact. I really have to, to actively get in there and pop it off if I want it to come off. Probably take a few weeks to tell whether those really hold up or whether they you know, stretch out too much and, and start falling off the bars. But it's uh, it's pretty easy, so uh, definitely play around with it and let me know what you think.